What's going on guys, Semi Mong here, part of the Game On crew, and this is actually a pre-recorded gameplay video that I was not expecting to get, I was just playing a game of, I believe, yeah, it's Domination with the Weevil, now the Weevil hasn't recently been buffed, I believe it's been buffed in the last patch, I don't know how recent that was, but I've started using it, and I jumped into this game at, I believe it was like, 43 points to our team, 60 points to the enemy team, so you can happily say it's halfway through the first round, okay? I managed to end this game on, on a fairly decent score. Now, I'm not going to say the score, because obviously it will ruin the video, but I do quite happily feel that that is down to the Weevil, okay? So, as I said, I've been using the Weevil a load recently. I've been using it in every single Nuketown match I've been trying to get into, and apart from that, I only really use the Locust, obviously, to get some of those sniping trick shots for montages and all of that. But since using it, it's literally my favourite gun. Like, at long range, it's a beast. At short range, it is a beast. It is literally just an all-round, like, abomination of a gun. It is so good. Abomination is probably not the right word, actually. But literally, it's such a good gun. Now, I've got on it the ELO sight. Just in comparison to the red dot sight, I prefer the ELO sight. Because with the red dot sight, you do get, like, the... How to put this? Like, you get the, the metal framing of the actual red dot sight itself, which can cut off a bit of your peripheral vision. So, I prefer to use the ELO sight. And just if you're wondering, there's no, like, countdowns or, like, um, kill medals at the top because this is actually pre-recorded in the Call of Duty theater as well, guys. But, yeah, the ELO sight, although you can't customize it, I, I find the red dot reticle is just, like, it's fine. It's absolutely perfect. Like, you don't need anything too big and you don't need anything too small either. And if you can get rid of that peripheral vision or get more of it by getting rid of the metal framing from the red dot sight, it is perfect. It is really good. Now, I've coupled this with, I'm trying to think, it's quick draw and grip. Quick draw, grip, and long barrel. Those are the three because I was going to do either grip, stock, and long barrel. Now, quick draw just allows me to actually aim down my sights faster. And I've also got fast hands on as well, so I can also aim down my sights faster after sprinting. So, this class or this gun really does suit a run and gun play style. Now, the only sort of comparison or let's say substitute, the only substitute I'll take for the quick, quick draw is actually stock now i'm finding that i'm zooming in a lot like fast anyway just because of fast hands i'm sprinting around everywhere every time i see an enemy i'm zooming in and it's getting that extra zoom in speed or that extra sort of it was like getting a ready weapon thanks to fast hands so you could swap out quick draw for stock but it all depends on how much you run around so if you're finding that you're running around a lot like i am and you're having you're encountering enemies just because you're running into them having quick draw on is a lot better because you mean it means you can get your gun up and you can get that first shot off but if you're finding that you're not running around as much you're just you're sort of generally mooching around the whole map defending flags trying to take sort of bottleneck positions having stock on will be a lot lot better because you can actually like pinpoint enemies and where they are and then just switch quickly kill one having stock on to actually move faster to the enemy or while all while aiming down your sight now there's times where i can actually like sort of put this to a good example i'm gonna try and pinpoint where it is but there's a few deaths in the game where i feel that if i had stock on i could have got to the other enemy because i'm shooting one enemy and then another enemy comes out of nowhere like the absolutely john cena out of nowhere and then they get me whereas if i had stock on I perhaps could have moved my gun a little bit quicker to where they were, aimed at them a little bit faster and killed them. But then again, if I didn't have quick draw on, I may not have gotten the first shot off on the first guy and killed him. So it's a bit of lose-lose or win-win, just trying to sort of trial and error, put on what you like. But I do heavily feel that the grip, long barrel and elo really help. Elo, obviously, for the red dot sights here. If I had stock on, I could move to that guy in the left-hand window and killed him too. But then I may have not got the first guy to jump up. So there's a great example of what I was trying to showcase. But yeah, the long barrel, the grip, and uh, elo are amazing. As I said, elo to pinpoint the targets. Grip is actually just because at long range, this gun can get a big sort of recoilish. And because of its low damage, it's only got three notches of damage. If you do miss a few shots at long range, you're not going to win most gunfights. But then it's hardcore. I'm playing hardcore. The free damage is the, you don't really need it like it kills anyone up close you can see it's getting cut targets a long way away i am missing a few shots but it is killing them after one or two shots and up close and personal that's like a two shot kill one two bam i'm just doing little short like bursts and sprays 
other than that, I'm finding that it's just this gun is amazing. Like I've actually got six cents on, so I can listen out for when people are around me, and then if I've got a UAV up, it, I can see when people are around me. I've then got dead. Oh, what is it? Is it dead silence? I don't think it is dead silence. I've got the I've, I've got the opposite perk to dead silence, which allows you to hear enemy movements easier. Dead Silence allows you to move silently, so I don't actually know the name off by heart, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, but yeah, I've got the opposite perk to that that allows you to move silently, and then I've got, as I said, Fast Hands, and all in all, just those three perks and the three attachments on the gun plus the sight, just creates a crazy loadout that allows you to run and gun around the whole map, and you can see I've been managing to get a nice few double kills, sometimes triple, and I'm getting a, a load of Hellstorms, a load of Cerebus, all for what is practically one and a half games. I would happily admit that if I went into this game from the start, I would have got a lot more kills. I do end up on, I believe, a 43 and 6, but I could have done better. I feel I could have pushed that to 60 and 6 if I had joined in to the end of the game. Now, other suggestions for this class, guys, do include actually using this gun with perks such as anti up and what's the other one? Is it earning a specialist weapon quicker? So just so you can get those score streaks, those heavy end score streaks, such as the Cerebus, the Talon, the Mothership, and then keeping all the gun in the same, because at the end of the day, the perks are helping me out, but it's the gun that's sort of doing the damage and killing the enemies. So if you want the perks to help you run and gun, go ahead, or you can couple it with perks that allow you to get your score streaks quicker and actually just rain on like hell upon the whole enemy team. But guys, that is going to be it. Ending off on a quad kill for today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like down below. If you want to see more, check out our playlist down below as well. And of course, subscribe if you want to see other games. But until next time, guys, bye!